Hey everyone, it's Nerf Boy Productions here. Today I have a unboxing and review of something that's not Nerf, but I've done in the past and I absolutely love. This is from Zing, um, another um, company that makes you know blaster toys and whatnot, those kind of foam things. And this is one of their. Uh, this product in particular is one of their new uh, flagship products. This is the new Zing Airstorm Fire Tech Bow. So basically. Um, the whole niche with this thing is it glows okay not only does the bow glow but the darts or the arrows do as well so it's not a um, typical blaster but it's more of a bow um, well it is a bow actually so uh, they have a try me because it's the open face box so you can kind of hold that and one thing I noticed right away is this click button which I'll talk way more about um, after I open this thing up um, and the by the time you click the button and the time the lights go on, it's very responsive. So that's very nice. Um, and then let's talk about the box a little bit because they've got some pretty crazy claims on here. They're claiming 145 feet, which is quite the claim. Uh, the, the Zonic Blaze Screaming Whistle Arrows. So these arrows whistle in the air. They've got little whistlers on them and all these, and they also glow um, themselves. Um, it's also an only a Walmart product. And uh, so yeah, it includes three light up arrows and your bow, and uh, a couple little things here. Light up power bow. Uh, don't just hit the target, storm it. And then it advertises outdoor and indoor fun because um, I'd imagine this thing, if it does go 140 feet, you wouldn't want that going 140 feet straight into breakables. Um, okay, so on the back, just you know, little diagram. Loop and launch technology, Zonic Whistle, which is the name of the uh, dart or the arrow, LED activated power grip, and fire glow LED. And uh, it's important to note that you can also get this in the green edition. I just got the red here, uh, but you can get it in the green. And they both light up red, even the green one. Um, well, this, the bow lights up green, but the arrows light up red. So because it's the fire tech bow, fire red I figured I should go with the red one um, so yeah now it's got here tells you about how to turn on and off the arrows um, and then the fast load a uh, hook arrow on loops and pull back to launch and then how to hold your arrows as well don't hold them like this hold them like this uh, very good stuff all right so enough talk about the bow let's open this thing up and see what we get inside we kind of already know what we get inside but let's just get right to the bow because if you guys haven't seen my other unboxing review of other zing stuff i've done the crossfire bow and also there's a crossbow i did as well and mostly all of zing products that i have um encountered so far or actually used myself turn out to be quite good so i'm excited to see what the fire tech bow has for us um because zing has a good history of making some fun good products so, I am excited. Um, and you can't compare Zing to Nerf. Don't compare Zing to Nerf. They're a completely different company in their own realm and they have completely different things. Um, they do make some blasters, but I think the thing Zing should focus on and their kind of um, thing that sets them apart from other companies is that they've really really mastered this bow technology kind of how nerf mastered the blaster um technology boom Co's tried it but nerf just has something about their blasters that is different than any other company busby's tried you know i could go on forever airstorm um all these different companies but nerf has it in the bag for blasters well i think it's fair to say now that zing has it in the bag for bow technology they've got these bows which are really cool and i'm just simply opening this by cutting it out of the cardboard because uh, it's got zip ties all over the place but let's pull out the arrows here and our arrows are here and they actually already have batteries in them so check that out these babies are glowing and it's really cool so We've got, let me um, show you the arrows when they're off and on. See the difference there? Looks kind of pink on the camera, but it's a red. And, um, well, 
the way you, these things work, if I turn this off, there's a little switch right there. When you turn that on, bang, your arrow turns on. Got this whistle right here. This is the thing um, planted in the tip of the arrow that actually makes it whistle. And then all over the place, these are the hooks that you hook it on and pull back um, with. It's got four different um, little wings, I don't know what they're called, feathers, whatever, uh, that um, keep it you know, stable in the air. Um, but the old ones, the old um, arrows that came with these bows only had three, so it's cool that with the FireTech bow they've got four, a little more stable, and then this is the thing that you kind of hold when you go to pull back. But that's that, and they just got the one switch, and there you go, and it's cool that they don't need batteries or anything to turn on out of the box. And same with the Zing bow, right here there's a little battery hatch and you can replace the batteries when the LEDs die or when the stops lighting up, but this is it. So this thing is completely ambidextrous. It's good to note that you got this little thing right here that says Zing FireTech bow. And that's if you're holding it in your left hand, you can see Zing FireTech bow, but check this out. If you hold it in your right hand, you flip it over and all of a sudden you still see it there. Zing FireTech bow because it's on both the bottom and the top. So um, you can see it's there. It's also right there. So um, completely ambidextrous, right? No matter which way you're holding it, you always want the um, bow part to be inside and um, kind of the handle sticking out. So if you hold it with your right hand all of a sudden, you don't want to hold it like this. You just flip it over. So you kind of like, right? You got it. You got it. So I'm. Uh, if you're right-handed, you want to hold it with your left hand, pull back with your right, and vice versa. If you're left-handed, hold it with your right hand and use your left hand to pull back. That's going to be your stronger arm. So that is that. And the push button is only on the one side, not the other. But um, you can access it with your fingers, no matter what side you're using. And um, when the whole thing is glowing and you've got it, it looks really cool. So. We've seen this thing, but uh, obviously I'm not going to. Well, first of all, actually, okay, that was pulled back a tiny bit and it went really far and hard. Uh, so <laughs> it's time to go outside. We gotta go outside to see how this thing is performing. We just have to, because there's no way we're gonna um, see how this performance is in here. We gotta hit the streets outside and see if this thing is claiming the ranges it says it is. It's nighttime right now. Let's go hit the night with this thing. Actually, let's go storm the night with this thing and see how it does. Okay, so I'm on the beach right now. You probably can't see me, but you can see the glowing and it's dark and that's the point. Okay, so because it's dark, we can see how far these things are going. So we can get a shot down the uh, range here. See how far we can get this thing. And it is quite windy right now, which is worth noting. Also, it's kind of hard to hook the arrows into the uh, drawstring. This thing is incredible, so let's just, you can see maybe how far down those things are. It's really hard to see, but let's go. So way down here, you can see, I pretty much pulled back the elastic as far as I wanted to go, because there was a point where the elastic just kind of stopped. And this is the furthest one, and man, this these ranges are accurate. This thing goes far, and I was shooting flat. I wasn't even angling the thing. Wow. All right, so for the Firesec bow, the ranges are on point. Wow, okay, so we just saw those ranges. This thing is accurate. Zing ain't lying here. This thing's awesome. I mean, for the price, it's great. It's so fun. But there's a word of warning to be going along with this thing. This is powerful, more powerful than any Nerf blaster out of the box ever. As far as the the puncher packs, it's probably more uh, more powerful than a lot of modified Nerf blasters. 
That being said, what this means is if you are a small child or a parent buying this for a small child, uh, if the kid, it depends. Obviously, if it's a small child, they're not going to be able to pull back the strings as far as I can or, you know, someone older like me. But um, just keep in mind that watch this. This is, this is something to note, okay? You've got the arrow here. I'll turn it on just so you can see it better. But what happens is this thing, basically, it's got this initial punch. So if I pull it back about this far, okay, it just bounced to the wall back to the wall that I'm filming off of. And uh, that was, you know, that was short. Now, like I said, it's got an initial punch. What that means is, the actually, like that first little uh, bit to pull is hard. And then from there, it just gets harder. But it's not hard until it is. And that's about the length that a kid's gonna be able to pull the thing back before they can't do it anymore. So, <clears throat> that's good, definitely gonna go far. But if you're watching your kid and they're about to pull it back about this far, or even any like like that, you think you want to say this is an outdoor toy, um, <clears throat> because you're gonna be breaking stuff. So yeah, word of warning. And if you're a kid yourself, well, be smart when you're using this thing. And you shouldn't have to say that that about a toy. Um, but I mean, the age warning is like all on the box and everything, so that's all good. But for me, I think at my age. This toy is awesome. So I highly recommend it myself. I wanna know what you guys think about this thing in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I have new videos every Saturday. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like because it really helps me out. But as always, this has been Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.